hey, what's up? So today I'm gonna talk to you about something called Jido Hanbaiki. Jido Hanbaiki, that super long word, actually means vending machine. Japanese vending machines. Um, and uh, you might be a little bit surprised, but Japanese vending machines are a lot different than they are, well, at least in America. Don't know about other countries, but they're, they're very different. They're actually really, really interesting. Pretty cool. One of my favorite things about Japan, and it's probably one of the things you're going to, when you come to Japan, you're probably going to see it all over the place. You're be like, wow, it's, it stands out a lot. It's very different from other countries, or at least America, because, like I said, I've been to other countries. But anyway, um, Jido Hanbaiki literally means Jido, right? That means automatic. Those two kanjis there, I'll probably put some kanjis right here. And um, then there's hanbai. Hanbai means selling or sell, right? And then ki, which means machine. So automatic selling machine. It's a machine that automatically sells you things, right? So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you them. There's actually one really close to the house that I'm staying at here. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and go on over there. Follow me. Here we go, this is it, this is the Japanese vending machine. So as you can clearly see, it's very, very different from the American one. First of all, it's white, right? Most American ones, I'm not sure if you know, but they're black. I don't know if there's some racism going on there, but uh, you know, whatever. And uh, the way you use it is pretty similar to the American ones. You just, you stick your monies in here, and then, you know, if you have dollar bills, they come in here, and then you can press these buttons, and you can pick the drink that you want. But obviously, there's like way more way more uh, variety here obviously you got the uh and actually this is really cool right i never uh, i didn't think about this but if you look up here if you zoom in a little bit here i get my cameraman to zoom in you see it says atakai atatakai right and then down here underneath that it says sumetai this is hot up here and then cold down here and if you can't read japanese quite just yet this means hot and this means cold red is hot Cold is uh, cold is blue, so that's pretty easy, right? Anyway, um, the the variety for me is what's really really cool because you can there's so many things to try and every single one is a little bit different. They've got a lot of different stuff in it. This one it seems like they've got like a bunch of coffees here. The coffee sections up here. This is the hot coffee. That's also cool because we don't have hot and cold in America. You just have they just they're all cold and they come out. This one you can pick your pick your choice of cold and hot. Isn't that nice, right? So. Um, these are the hots. Looks like you got some tea over here. Then uh, this is some cold coffees, some milk coffees. Um, here's some more tea and a little bit of juice. This is some weird vitamin drink thing. This is like a Power Ranger drink, I think. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. Uh, over here, this looks like more juices. And then we have the pet bottle section. Yes, I did say pet bottle because that's what Japanese call bottles. They call them pet bottles. I don't, I'm not sure why. Maybe because they want pets. They like to pet their bottles. It's weird, whatever. So these are the pet bottles. They're bottles, right? And they're a little bit more expensive. But usually, most of the stuff is pretty cheap, right? So this is 120 yen, right? That's about a dollar and 20 cents. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and buy one, yeah? Okay, let's do that, because I'm thirsty right now. And actually, I want you to see what they look like. And, well, mostly because I'm thirsty. So here we go. Let me take out some of my Japanese monies here. Um, first of all, what's, which ones did I get, right? There's something here, this has been bothering me. It says American coffee. I'm really, really bothered by this because it could be very racist. Maybe that it's like white or something and there's like, I don't know, some kind of stereotype going on there. Uh, no, you know what? This is the one. This is the one I think I'm gonna get. I love Power Rangers. Actually, I hate them. But okay, so this is, this is uh, 100 yen. So let's go ahead and put it in here. Ba-bam, right? Okay, he just said my dough to me, right? And then we go like that, that means come again. And then it comes out. I know, this is really amazing. <laughs> pretty, pretty similar to, what the hell is this? This is the wrong one! This is not the right, look at this. I want you guys to see this because this is definitely, this is, I'm gonna sue this machine somehow. I'll figure out how, and I'll tell you how. Let me, let me see here. If, it's, if it tastes good, then I'll, I'll be, it all will be forgiven. Uh, whoa. Kind of tastes like a, like a sweet and salty Red Bull. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's the Jido Hanbaiki. Now, something else I want to show you, though, is these are drinks, right? Japanese um, vending machines are mostly drinks. That was a loud truck 
curse to you. Anyway, so most of them are drinks, right? In the Japanese vending machines, there's not many food ones. For some reason, Americans, we have food ones because maybe because we're fat and we just need to keep getting fatter. But um, these are drinks, right? And obviously, as you can see, they're really small drinks. So Japanese people like to say thin and beautiful, kind of like me. Um, but uh, I'm actually going to show you two other kinds of that Japanese vending machines. And those are smoking vending machines. They've got cigarettes and stuff in there. Pretty weird, right? And then there's also ones with beer and like alcohol and stuff. That's, that's my favorite one. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go, ahead and go over there. So. Let's go ahead and go to the, uh, the other kinds of Japanese vending machines, Jido Hanbaiki. Okay, let me get my drink, because I like this. Let's go. Look at this, here's another one, another vending machine. We're not even at the one that I wanted to go to yet, and we found another one. It's been like a, like a minute walk, right? It might have been like a 10 second walk for you because I'm gonna speed it up with my master editing skills. But anyway, this is a little different, right? It's a different color, it's not white. And then they even have this one, and I believe this is actually alcohol one. I'm gonna show you a different one in a little bit. This is super old, super ancient. It says glass cup, I don't even know what this stuff is. But uh, yeah, this is a little bit of the alcohol one. I'm not gonna buy this one, this looks very suspicious. But anyway, yeah, here's another judo hanbaiki. Let's keep going. Here we are, this is another Japanese vending machine. And as you can see, this is the cigarette one. They actually, yes, they sell cigarettes right here out on the street. If you didn't know, yeah, this is empty. I'm gonna put that down there because uh, it was actually surprisingly very delicious. So <laughs> the last one is forgiven, it's very forgiven. Anyway, so here we go, we've got all the cigarettes. Sorry if it's noisy, there's a lot of cars driving because we're like right in the middle of the street here. Anyway, you uh, for these ones though, you need something called, a, I believe it's called a taspo, taspo and then you, you kind of you scan it here or whatever and that just basically confirms that you are over, uh, over, you're over the age to be able to buy cigarettes because um, you know a lot of people, a lot of like you know, middle school students used to buy them and uh, they, would, they would smoke them and that's, can't be having that. So anyway, here's the cigarette one. So if you are a smoker, and by the way, cigarette, the word for cigarette in Japan is tabako, tabako. Kind of a familiar word, but yes, that's, that's a word for cigarettes. Loud trucks all over the place. Here's some more, right? Here's another one. You've even got familiar brands like Marlboro, right? That's so, that's very nice. This is like the only one I know, so that's that. And then over here, if you keep going this way, you got more. And then over here, if we come way over here, there's another one, just a normal one. This one, it's got drinks like Pepsi in here. And then everyone knows the Cavita, right? Everyone knows that. I don't even know what that is. But then, then there's coffee and then more coffee and this one has the, the hot stuff down here. See, there's so many, literally. And if we come over here, right? Come follow me over this way. See, this is why Japanese people, they don't want foreigners in their country because they litter all over the place, like I, meet, like I do. Here's another one. Another judo hanbaiki. This one is orange, right? And then um, it's got different stuff in it. You've got UCC coffee, this is, I like this stuff. I have a sweet tooth. And you got more pet bottles up here, right? So if you want a pet, you can buy one there. And then if you zoom in way down there, there's another Jido Hanbaiki. So you see that right next to that truck coming out there? Another one there. And if uh, you look the other way, there's probably another one over there. They are literally everywhere. It's really, really interesting, really crazy, very different from America. 
Okay, now let's go to the last Japanese vending machine. That's the uh, that's the alcohol one, my favorite one, because I am I am just constantly drunk all the time. And uh, in order to keep my addiction going, I make my stops there. So let's go ahead and go over it that way. Here it is, finally. We actually, I got lost, and that's why the video cut, and we found it. It took us like, it was a long time, we're searching, me and my camera woman, right? We're going all over the place. Finally found one. It turns out that these are not as popular as they once were. Um, they're very, very, they're going away quite a bit. And I guess maybe because you don't need the little pass like you do with the tobacco one. You need the, the toss pole. This one you don't need that. Anyone can buy some beer if they want to. Little children's, little babies, old grandpas, dinosaurs. Whoever wants to buy one, they can come over here and buy themselves some, uh, some sake, which is the word for alcohol in Japan. O sake or sake. That's how you say alcohol. So come to Japan, you need to have some hankering for some alcohol. Just say, hey, give me some osake, and then you can get it. Or you can come here. Seems to be the only one left in Japan. But uh, you can come here and buy. <laughs> There's probably more. Actually, really, to be honest, it took me like four minutes. It took us like four minutes. That's a long time in Japan because everything's so close. Usually they're a lot closer. But anyway, here it is, right? This is the alcohol one. Coincidentally, it's right next to a, you know, a cigarette one where you can buy cigarettes with your beer. And then you can go in there and then you can buy... Uh, you can buy alcohol in the store if you want to. So you've got all different options here at the Sake Jido Hambaiki. So, uh, yeah. Hey, this is Ken here. Hope you liked that video. And I did want to let you know that if you liked it, um, there's actually a lot more that came from down below. You see, there's a link down there, and that goes to my website. Signs up for my newsletter, my weekly video newsletter. And you actually get free videos from me every week. And uh, you can see the rest of this whole What's This Really Like in Japan series over there. I've released them. I released them down there. And uh, if you want to know, if you want to know why, um, it's, it's really, it's really just my bribe to you to get you to sign up because I, I actually just, I just want hits from my website, and I want, I want subscribers over there. So it's really just my, my selfish bribe. But, but hey, you get, you get free videos and stuff in the meantime and, and cool things. So, and if you don't like it, if I start being like a jackass or something, you can just unsubscribe. So please, please do if I start being stupid, because. You know, otherwise, because there's otherwise I don't learn. I don't. I just keep doing stupid stuff. So let me know. Um, but this is democracy. Anyway, so that's all. Go ahead and sign down below if you liked what you saw, and uh, I'll see you in there. Okay, later.